Yeah, I'm just leaving the gym, man. Quick chest workout, baby. Got it in 45 minutes, in and out the door. You know how we do, man. Quick video, though, man. We talking about betrayal, man. When somebody you thought in a million years would never do some foul, some snake shit to you, man. Switch up on you, snake you behind your back, stab you in the back. You know what I'm saying? It's never the, the stab wound that kills you. It's the person, when you turn around and see who was holding the knife that always killed you, man. Because you like, damn. I never thought in a million years you would do me like that, man. You know, friends, family, man, they switch up for you in a heartbeat about some money, a female, a situation, man. They think that's going to benefit them in the long run, man. People will switch sides like night and day, like they switch their drawers up. You know what I'm saying? So how do I deal with betrayal? You know, I got a friend. All of a sudden, they switch up on me. They start acting funny. You know, they start, I, I get, it gets back to me. They've been talking shit about me behind my back. They've been hating on me, stuff like that. How do I deal with that, man? You know, when I thought they was my day one, I thought they was my dog. The way I deal with that, though, the first thing I got to do, man, is always acknowledge that pain. I want to feel that pain. I want to feel that hurt. You know what I'm saying? You, It's okay to feel them feelings of sadness, you know, anger, depression, you surprised, you like, damn, I never would have thought they'd do me like that. You know, that lets you know that you are human. It's okay to be human. It's okay to have emotions, you know, and to feel that. You know, me, like I said, I want to feel that pain, you know, that way I can learn from that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? So once I feel that pain, man, you know, I find out, damn, man, he did this behind my back. Oh, damn, they stole some money from me. We done fell out because I, I, I let them borrow some money. And then, you know, they, they said they was going to pay me back, but they never got back to me. And I asked them for my money back. All of a sudden, it's a problem. We done fell out about that. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that, man. You know, sometimes people come and go in your life. It just is what it is, you know. But like I said, man, when people do stuff to you, man, they stab you in the back. They throw you under the bus, man, to try to make themselves look good. You find out they've been hating on you, talking behind your back about you, shit like that. You got to feel that pain. And then next... You gotta analyze the situation. You gotta look and see if it's any red flags you may have missed. You know, I see when I when I uh when I go through a situation like that, I'm like I'm sitting here like, damn, you know, did I miss some shit, man? You know, where this was this person giving me signs that they really wasn't down for me from the get go, and I just was being naive or I just didn't catch on to it. You know what I'm saying? That way I can learn from that lesson. You know, and I know how to move forward. You know. Certain stuff, like say you got your, your day one, your dog, you know, they start acting funny all of a sudden out the blue. You know, it's like when they're around certain people, you know what I'm saying? They start the room get quiet when you pull up on the scene and you walk in the room. Or it's like, you know, they used to invite you to the, the family functions or the get togethers, the fellas night out, stuff like that. Now all of a sudden they ain't inviting you, man. That's to let you know, that's a red flag right there. You know what I'm saying? And it's up to you, like I said, if you want to address the situation, you don't confront the person or, you know, if you get in that vibe, like something's off and then you see firsthand that something's off, man, or something get back to you that somebody told you that, yeah, they've been talking about you behind your back, man. Yeah, they've been trying to holler at your girl. You don't even know stuff like that, man. Then you can know how to move accordingly. You know, me nine times out of 10, you know, if somebody do me dirty, man, I ain't even going to try to seek revenge. I'm not trying to lash out, man, get my get back, none of that. I'm at a space now in my life where I just crave a peace of mind. You know, I'll just walk away, cut them off, and be done with them, man. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, so that way, once you see the red flags, you know what I'm saying? If you do catch any red flags that you may have missed, you can use that as a learning lesson. So now, once you go, you dealing with other people, you dealing with situations, you got a sharper eye. You can spot the red flags. You can spot the frenemies. You can spot the snakes in the grass from a mile away. You know what I'm saying? And you can see when somebody trying to play you. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody out here trying to get played, trying to uh, be betrayed, shit like that, man. Especially, man, you know, when you thought it was like your family, a friend, somebody you've been, you been knowing all your life since y'all came up in the sandbox, that hurt the most, man. You know, I done had people like that in my life, man. They just switched up on me. We don't even speak no more. It just is what it is, man. You know, I still wish them nothing but the best. You know, I'm not, even if they did something wrong or did me dirty, you know, I, I, I forgive, but I never forget. You know what I'm saying? Even if we don't never sit at the same table again, man, it is what it is, man. I'm just going to keep moving forward. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, 
You could confront that person if you want. You know me, I'm big on it, having my inner peace. I just want a peace of mind. I ain't got time to entertain no no petty shit. You know, somebody don't like me, man, or they feel a certain type of way about me, man. That's cool, man. As long as you ain't physically harming me or you messing up my money, we good, man. You could go your separate way and I go my separate way. I'm going to still win regardless. You know what I'm saying? It's best in your best interest probably just to cut the dead weight. Like I say, distance yourself from them and just be done with them. Hey, you know, that's how, that's what I do. I just start distancing myself. Even we ain't even got to speak, man. Like I said, I still wish you nothing but the best. And I still want to see you do good and eat. I still want to see you be successful in life. Even if we can't eat at the same table. Even if we can't win together. You know what I'm saying? That's just a part of the game, though, man. You're going to see it, man. You live this life long enough. You're going to have fallouts with people, man. You know, sometimes, man, you know, y'all may put y'all's differences aside and realize that it was really some petty stuff, man. Y'all want, they may apologize to you, forgive them, and y'all may get back together, you know what I'm saying? But other times, it's like, you can't even forgive, you can't even get back with a person like that, man. Because once they do something that's this low, you know, they stoop that low. It's like, man, they do it once, they'll do it again. You know what I'm saying? So why even subject myself to that embarrassment of letting my guard down, you know, missing all them signs and shit like that, being played for a fool, man. It can never be me. It'll never go down like that again, man. I ain't trying to let, I ain't trying to let nobody play me for a fool. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, man, people gonna switch up, especially when you have emotion. You know what I'm saying? You starting to accomplish stuff in life. You start to become successful. That's the fastest way to see who your true friends is. Start winning in life. Start really elevating in life, man. And watch how some people that you thought was your dogs, your day ones, they going, it's going to seem like they starting to grow distant from you, you know, out of nowhere. And it ain't even nothing you done wrong. That's just how some people is, man. Some people really be haters on the low. You know, they just don't know how to, you know, they won't never say that, but it just is what it is. I peeped that game. I just seen that happen, man. You know, it's like I, this little shit, man. Like I say, you know, I started my YouTube channel, started blowing up on that social media. Now it's like some of my, my partners and stuff, man, I thought was my homies. You know, I don't even hear from them no more, man. You know, I reach out every now and then, but it's like, you know, it just is what it is, man. I just got to keep moving. I got to stay locked in on my mission, man. I don't have time to entertain that, man. I'm only focused on the people that's focused on me. I'm focused on the people, man, you know, who want to see me win, you know, we can win together, you know, you, you cool with me, I'm cool with you, man, you know, you got some kind of animosity towards me, you know, you hating on me on the low, jealous, this and that, man, you know, we ain't got to sit at the same table together, man, like I said, I still want to see you do good in life, you know what I'm saying, this is the next thing, man, you know, you got to go out there too, man, you know, and just make new friends and family, you know what I'm saying, you find out your people's the people close to you, man, they've been uh, feeling some type of way about you. They've really got some hatred towards you or some jealousy, jealousy, animosity, man. I cut, like I said, I cut them all off and I'll go make new family and friends, man. You know, I've never had a problem with making new associates, meeting new people. You know what I'm saying? I'm a social, social butterfly. I, I, it's no problem for me to go out, strike up a conversation, man, and make new alliances, you know, make new connections. It just, that's how the, the nature of the person I am. I'm outgoing you know what i'm saying somebody like like i said man they don't they feel a certain type of way about me then cool i'll go make new i don't care who they is it could be family i could damn know you you could damn watch me when i was born at my mama's womb man if you ain't you don't want the best for me man or you feel a certain type of way about me man in a negative way i don't need you around me you know what I'm saying? I, well, I cut them off with the quickness, like they cancer in my body. Cut them out of my life and love them from a distance, man. Keep moving, keep going forward with my life. You know what I'm saying? This is the last thing I'm gonna leave y'all with, man, when it comes to dealing with betrayal. You know, somebody letting you down you never thought would do in a million years, man. You gotta use that pain. You gotta use that hurt you feeling as fuel and motivation to win in life regardless. That's the best revenge. See, some people, man, you know, they don't have they don't have the right mindset. They think the best revenge is trying to get their lick back. You know, an eye for an eye. Oh, they did this to me, so I gotta do that back to them. Shit like that. The best revenge, man, once you elevate your way of thinking, is to just walk away in peace and have massive success in life. Win big. Accomplish every goal that you set out to do for yourself. You have to show them that what they did to you, it didn't even phase you. 
You know what I'm saying? It didn't even phase you, man. You know, it's like you gonna win regardless, man. You use you use that betrayal as a stepping stone to get better, man. You leave small-minded people down here and you fly and elevate like an eagle. That's what we own. You know, eagles don't hang out with no pigeons. Pigeons sitting around, flocking together in groups, gossiping about people. You know, they acting like they like you. The whole time they gossiping, talking shit about you behind your back, hating on you, this and that, dragging your name through the dirt, man. You know what I'm saying? That's just how, like I said, man, that's how this life shit go. You gonna see, man, if you ain't lived long enough and you never seen that, keep living, man, and watch. Watch what happened. I bet you at some point in your life, you're going to run into the scenario. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's the best revenge. You know, succeed. Just win. Don't even say nothing. You ain't even got to try to throw it in their face. You don't have to announce it on social media, man. None of that. Just win. You know, whenever they, if they run into you again, man, you want them to see you shining like the fucking sun at the motherfucking peak of the day. That's how you want this shit to work out, man. Let them see that they didn't stop nothing. That ain't that hurt, man. They can have that, man. They stole some money from you. They hated on you. They talk shit about your back, man. They can have that little battle. We done won the war. We done bossed up on them. Y'all like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel. At the Ghetto Body Butter. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, at the Ghetto Body Butter. I got the merchandise for sale on my website. Shop with me on my website, www.theghettobodybutter.com, man. If y'all got any input on this video, or if you've ever dealt with this situation, your thoughts, you know, comments on this video, make sure y'all drop a comment, man, you know, so we can get the, the discussions going on this topic, man, you know, dealing with people betraying you shit like that man you know y'all got any topics or ideas for future videos y'all want me to uh do make sure y'all drop a comment too and i'll be sure to get back with you as soon as i can y'all know how we coming let's get motivated 